Hey guys, I'm now doing the Costco grocery haul compared to Coles. Um, this one was really interesting and I think I've got some really good tips at the end I'll share with you. Costco has no rewards program. They do have a membership fee, an annual membership fee. So I went out to Costco's, I done the walk around all the aisles. I did purchase some items. I purchased items, one that I needed and two were actually quite cost effective. So you'll see there's like spinach and I got a bulk of some Jats crackers. I went through their shampoo section. Uh, I ended up getting some toothpaste. Then what I ended up doing, because I didn't need a lot of stuff there, I actually took some photos of some things. So with this video here, you're going to see what I purchased at Costco's, but also I'm going to share with you a few additional things, and then we're going to chat and see if this is actually worth it. I think Costco's could be quite effective, but I've got like four or five butts that you would need to do to make it cost effective. So the first one I want to share with you is I saw they had a bag of brushed potatoes, so a five kilo bag of potatoes for $6.99. It sounds quite cheap, but what I like now about all of the grocery stores, they have like per kilo. So the Costco's ones was $1.40 per kilo. Now when I go onto the Coles website, as of right now, their prices do vary, but as of right now, $2.67 per kilo. So the Costco's ones was actually a lot cheaper, but you're buying six kilos. I don't know if you could like make some bulk food and freeze it, share it with someone. The next one I got was actually spinach. So you'll see in my haul, I actually purchased a big bag of spinach. Spinach actually was cheaper. So as of right now at Coles, to buy a bag of spinach, it works out to be 33 cents per 10 grams. So convert that into the way that Aldi's at Costco's have done it per kilo. You're looking at $33 per kilo for spinach at Coles. LDs, the bag that I purchased, it was $13.11 per kilo. However, they even had a bulk. I'm talking, I'm looking it up now, I've got the photo, I'll put it on the screen up here for you. Um, a kilo of spinach, which was a huge box of spinach, uh, was $9.99 a kilo. So more than half price of coals, which is really, really cheap. It is a huge bag of spinach though. So you have to think, am I going to use it? Or am I going to get halfway through it and I'm going to waste half of it because it's gone off? I could list a bunch of recipes that you could put spinach into. So if you're doing like a massive cook-off, maybe it's cost effective. My whole pancakes are full of spinach. If you do smoothies, if you do spaghetti bolognese, you could add the spinach into it to bulk it up. If you do lots of big salads and that sort of thing, if you've got a party on the weekend or an event that you're going to, or, or if you've been invited to a friend's barbecue and you're making a massive salad, maybe it's ideal. Now the next one I want to show you, it's not in a comparison to Coles, but I saw these and I, I used to be a Costco member and I've seen these before and I thought this might be quite good if you are a Costco member. When it comes to like parties and that sort of thing, they had a chocolate mud cake. Now these photos don't really do it justice because this was 2.3 kilos. It was a huge, like huge mud cake for $30. Now if you're not one to cook, birthday cakes, this would be ideal. Grab it, put some candles on it, put some like toy figurines on it. This one was a chocolate one. They also had other themed ones there as well. So their cake section, everything they do in bulk, nothing is small. The cake here would be ideal for a birthday party. Now the next one that I came across was their pork. They had Australian pork, exactly the same as what Coles has on this website here. Coles have it for $13 a kilo. You get 1.8 kilos. Costco's, $6.99 a kilo. But you get like, I think they were worked out to be like 12 kilos. Like it was a huge, huge piece of pork. Really, really cheap, more than half price of the Coles one, but you just need to think how you're going to use it before it goes off. Can you have it with a friend? Are you going to cook a massive batch of uh, pork? My pulled pork recipe would be great for this. You could roast half of it. You could carve half of it up and do like pork sandwiches. You just need to make sure that you're going to get your money's worth, but that was a very cheap purchase. I thought I'd share that one. The next one's just like a very short clip again, going back to the 
party ideas. They do bulk sandwiches, bulk salads and those sort of things. If you're one who doesn't like to make food, potentially those salads would be great to buy at like the beginning of the week and it would last you all week because you're buying it in bulk and then you can just like take sections out to make your lunch. So if you are time poor or you're not the best cook or you just don't like cooking, that may be an option for you. So I just thought I would share that one. So when it comes to eggs, they had organic free range eggs. We don't usually buy organic, but that's all I could find at the Costco's to snapshot a picture to share with you. If I go over to the Coles website, the closest I can get, which is organic, free range eggs, it works out to be a dollar forty nine per hundred grams. And the Costco one is a dollar thirty one per hundred grams. Costco's is cheaper not a lot and that's where you need to weigh up is all these savings worth the i paid 55 dollars for the membership i think it was a business one i think just the normal one is 60 dollars. but you have to weigh up is it worth going there is the membership going to produce enough savings that you've actually paid off the membership and it's still going to save and are you purchasing food and actually using it not wasting it because everything is large and bulk Okay, the next one I got here is the Morning Fresh Dishwashing Liquid in the Lemon Scent. They do a three pack of 900 mils for $11.19. Now, Coles, I know Coles do this all the time. They have half price on theirs, and they've currently got it half price at the moment, so I'm going to go off that price there. They've got it for $3.75 for one. So if you go 375, so if you work out the per litre or per 100 mils, the Costco one is $4.14 per litre and the Coles ones would be $4.20 per litre. So very, very close there. Six cents savings, savings is savings, but you have to weigh up. You get points with flybys through Coles. There's no membership you have to pay for. You can do free click and collect and you can do free delivery over a certain amount of money. Costco's isn't and it's got limited locations that you have to drive to. There is no rewards program and you have to pay for the membership. They're just things to keep in mind. Okay, so the next one I went through was the frozen section and I found a frozen fruit. A lot of people buy frozen fruit and I do. The Costco one, you're buying bulk, but per kilo worked out to be $8.28 per kilo. This was the cheapest brand they had called the Welch's brand. Now, when I go onto the Coles website, the one I usually purchase works out to be $8 a kilo. You really need to know your prices at Costco's. I think I spent two hours there. And I probably looked at a little bit silly because I'm going through looking up my phone, scrolling. But it was quite deceiving because I did overhear some ladies talking about, this is a great buy, it's bog, so awesome. So I sort of went over behind them and I looked up on Coles. It was actually cheaper on Coles. I think some things are quite deceiving with Costco's bulk and it looks cheap. But when you break it down, if you buy it individually at Coles, it's cheaper. Just buy more of it. Okay, so the next thing I found, which we buy all the time, is oats. So at Costco's you had a big box so you got six times five, uh, 750 grams of Australian rolled oats they work out to be per 100 grams 22 cents the Coles ones that we get never on sale it's just the Coles brand at 18 cents per 100 grams not a massive difference but I'm not paying for a membership with Coles I'm not having to drive too far with Coles and I'm getting flyby points with Coles <laughs> Okay, now let's look at butter. So I do a lot of baking and I saw a bulk box of butter. And this is, uh, there was a lot of ladies grabbing the boxes of them. Um, so I thought I'd go have a look. Now this one here, this has got one of those instant rebates where I got $4 off. I don't know if the per 100 grams on this occasion is for the $19.90 or is the $100 is the $4 off 100 grams already done. I was a bit confused on this one, so if you can explain it to me, please do. I actually found even their receipt system a little bit weird. But with their butter, their butter worked out to be $1.07 7 per 100 grams. When I go to Coles, it's a dollar per 100 grams. Now these ones came in bulk, you got a three pack. So it looks big, cheap, and you think, gee, that's a good price. There's an extra $4 off. But when you do go look at the Coles ones, it's actually a little bit cheaper. Not by much, 
if I'm going to Costco's for me with the membership, I'm expecting a, a big savings. I don't mind buying 10 of them, but I'm expecting like a really big savings to think it's really worth it. This one here, I got at a really bad angle because there was just too many people in front of it and I had to crop people's heads out. Uh, I'm just mindful of people's privacy. Uh, but Milo, we always go through Milo. Now, Coles currently have the kilo tins for $12.50. So $12.50 a kilo. It does go on sale. And when it goes on sale, I stock up. But I was really keen to see what the Costco one was. Now, the Costco one works out to be $10.70. A kilo now I do know when the Milo at Coles goes on sale I can usually pick it up for about seven dollars fifty it is not often they do the sale but when they do I usually buy like the two tins and I stock up um, I, I don't know if Costco's do random markdowns and that sort of thing I'm not too sure sorry my phone rang and I got cut off so I don't know if Costco's do sales where it would beat the pricing of coals when it goes on sale again you really need to know your prices all right now this one actually, this one actually surprised me i came across the paul's vanilla custard for two liters and costco's had it for 4.99 and i instantly knew that was a lot cheaper than coals coals have it for seven dollars for two kilo that's a lot more expensive that's an extra two dollars now coals did have it for seven dollars seventy in august last year so that's almost two dollars seventy more expensive it's now two dollars more expensive uh, that is a big difference there this one here is just sold in the two liter jugs it's not sold in bulk so i think that's a really good price but again it's only two dollars if you were to go there every week, maybe you'd make your money back with the $55 or the $60 membership. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, some things were really cheap, some things were a little bit cheap, some things were a little bit more expensive, some things were definitely not more expensive. So I did buy the Jats crackers in my haul. So these ones here actually worked out to be per 100 grams, 89 cents. And I think I got a pack, is a, a, a pack of four, a box of four of them. Now Coles do have theirs on sale from time to time. At the moment, they've got them for $3.20 a box, which works out to be $1.42 per 100 grams. Costco's had them for 89 cents. I think even when the Coles ones go on sale, there's like a marginal difference in them. So I did grab a box of the four of those. My kids do go through them and I love having crackers in the pantry. Just when you've got like unexpected guests, you can quickly just throw together cheese, tomato, a little platter with your crackers. Okay, so I went to the herb section because I thought I could potentially look at getting some bulk dried herbs. This one here is the mixed herbs. I use this in all sorts of Italian dishes, making our garlic bread and that sort of thing. I didn't need any, but if it was cheap enough, I was going to buy some. So this one here actually worked out to be 37 cents per 10 grams. I can go to Coles and get it for 39 cents per 10 grams. I'm saving two cents. <laughs> it wasn't worth me stocking up, but a lot of people were like running to it and buying like, yes, so I got cut off again. Um, people were grabbing like bulks of them and stocking up. And I thought, wow, these must be really cheap. I don't really see the benefit in it. But overall, it was really interesting seeing people shopping. And I think the illusion of bulk got them. One of my girlfriends told me to look at their dry shampoo. And I thought, oh, great idea. So I ended up buying toothpaste. Toothpaste was a little bit cheaper. And I needed toothpaste. I bought a pack of those. Um, but I looked at their dry shampoo and I'm on my phone. I've got my phone here because I'm looking up stuff. And I was scrolling through looking at Coles online. It was cheaper at Coles. So some things really surprised me with how much cheaper it was. I think when you're looking at the, um, the muffins. So those muffins I got, they worked out to be... $6.99 for 12, I mean the muffins were sh huge muffins, I can cut them into quarters and my kid, my kids will have a quarter each for morning tea. They're very, very big, very worth it. Same with their bread, their bagels, um, their cakes and their meat. You're buying meat in bulk, so I bought that $2, um, you're buying meat in bulk. I bought the eye fillet steaks and they, they are very, very nice. And I bought bulk, I had to cut it up and I can freeze it. And it actually worked out a lot cheaper doing that. Doing a weekly shop there, I just don't think it's worth it if you don't have a very large family. However, if you're real, if you have a Costco that's within a reasonable driving distance 
and you get a couple of good neighbors or a couple of good girlfriends, this is what you could do. When you do a Costco membership, they take a photo of you. So only you can go in, you can't share your card around. But what you could do is get a couple of girlfriends together. Say you got four girlfriends and say the membership is $60. One person is designated to be the driver, the picker upper. you give her your grocery list and she'll do a shop once a fortnight, once a month for everybody. She doesn't pay for the membership. The other three people, they'll pay $20 each. Now $20 each is a pretty good amount to pay. And then the person that's doing the driving there and picking up and spending her time, she gets a freebie out of it. Not necessarily a freebie, she spends her time, but not her money. And then if you had a grocery list where you could go out saying, well, I need some crackers, I need custard, I need some more spices, I need to stock up on some chicken, or I've got a birthday party. And then you could divvy it up. It, yeah, it could be, it could be worth it. I don't know. Um, I think if you're very smart about how many people pitched in, how you spent your money there, and you were literally there like me for two hours on my phone scrolling and checking. The two cents, the five cents, the 10 cents, the $2, what was the other one? The roast pork that was more than half price. It could be worth it, but there's all these variables that come into it. For me, I find it convenient for Coles because there's online, I can really manage my money. When I got to the checkout at Costco's, I think whatever my bill was like $250, my eyes kind of went like really wide. I'm like, is this all I got for $250? But it was bulk, so it was a bit deceiving. Like I got the bulk chicken, I got the bulk toothpaste, toothpaste is expensive, um, the spinach, uh, the eye fill, it was quite expensive. I think that alone was like $60. But when you look at it thinking, I only got like five or six items. I was definitely a bit shocked at the price. Whereas Coles, if you're really on a budget, Coles Online is great. You can do delivery to your front door if you spend over a certain amount. It is free. You can get flyby points that you can collect. You don't have to do anything for flybys. You don't have to sign, you don't have to pay to sign up, nothing. You basically put your details in and they give you points every time you spend money with them. You buy certain items, they give you bonuses. Coles online, they do discounts all the time. So recently they had $20 off if you spent $200 in a shop. Buy whatever you want. So I stocked up on toilet paper. I bought two extra bags of toilet paper and some extra nappies that were on sale. I'm gonna use those items. So I find Coles great if you are really on a budget and you are managing your finances weekly or fortnightly. You go in, you see your total. If you're over budget, you take something out. If something's on sale, you can see it and stock up. And you start to learn the cycles of Coles when they have their sales. I think Costco's could be really great but you need to think about the annual membership and really think about can you share it with some friends or family i'm talking like a lot of you all pitch in have that one designated person that gets that can go fill up their car with the really cheap fuel i did not get a chance to do the fuel that day the queue was astronomically long and i had to buy a membership I done my grocery shop and by the time I came out, the queue was still too long and I had the cold chicken and other cold produce and I just didn't want to sit in my car for potentially half an hour waiting. They had trucks lined up, the whole thing. It wasn't moving very quick, so I didn't go. But petrol was cheaper. So be smart. I think Costco's could be good, but you've really got to know. I mean, you've really got to know your pricings when it comes to comparing. I do have a few American followers. So this is the Australian Costco's. I've had a few American followers actually message me saying it is very different in America. In America, your Costco's, your Trader Joe's, there was another one they mentioned. It is very different shopping than what we have here in Australia. In Australia, Woolworths and Coles are pretty much the main supermarket competitors and they tend to hold a lot more value at getting really good deals for their customers. I did go on to the Costco website and it does make mention to how it gets its prices so cheap, it buys bulk, it's more competitive. And then after a little bit of research, I was seeing that in Australia, because Coles and Woolworths have been here for so long, they've got stores everywhere. Where I live, within a 5K radius, I have four Coles. I think I have three Woolworths, I have two LDs, it's just flooded with other retailers, whereas my local, I've got two Costco's where I am, 
We live in Brisbane. There are two Costco's. One would take me probably 25 minutes to get to and the other one probably about 45 and that's it and in that time span to get to either one of those I put so many Coles and Woolworths in between them so I think Woolworths and Coles have a much better set up for Australia um, I was definitely shocked with some of the prices that Costco's do get now this is a Costco and Coles haul but even the prices of Costco meat Compared to Aldi, Aldi's meat is cheaper than Coles at times. We do buy our red meat direct from a farm in Western Queensland and the quality that we get and the price that we get, we're really, really happy with it. I'll share the details below. It's called Maranoa Farm. I talk about it all the time. I get free delivery from them. They are a, an amazing family that do beef and lamb. I get great packs from them, all vacuum sealed, straight into the freezer. They've got um, like pre-made rissoles full of veggies and flavorful. I really enjoy their meat. But I was really surprised at how cheap Costco could get their Australian meat for compared to Aldi's. Because I've always thought that Aldi's was more competitive in the meat market. Costco's was doing pretty good. I didn't look at all of their red meat because we just didn't need it. But I did look through their mince. Their mince was cheaper. Uh, that pork, I couldn't believe how cheap that pork was. If you're doing a Christmas barbecue or something like that, or in winter, you want to cook a massive roast, have it with your neighbor. You've got a big family get together. You've got all your friends coming around. I think that would be a perfect, perfect place to go. But it needs to be a regular spend at Costco's because you've got to pay down that membership and then you've got to find the savings somewhere. So if Costco's is local to you, Grab your neighbors, grab your mum friends, grab your girlfriends, all pitch in, have that one person that is designated to do the shop. They don't pay for the membership because they're spending their time and their petrol to do the shop. And I think it could be really worth it. If you were struggling with sticking to your budget, to be honest, I don't recommend Costco's. I really recommend sticking to your Coles or even your Woolworths and doing click and collect because you see your total at the end. If your budget is $100 a week, before you check out at Coles and Woolworths, you see your total for click and collect. You pay that bill straight away and you can really manage it. And you, again, like I said before, you'll see the cycles with Coles and Woolworths with their sales. So guys, that is my very, very honest haul and opinions on Costco's versus Coles, Costco's Australia. It is a different shopping experience. I really enjoyed it. My only tips is don't get overwhelmed with what is there and don't think because it's in bulk, it is cheaper. Really know your prices. Quality is great. Some of the brand items I have purchased from Costco's I've had before. I love their bread. I love their baked goods. I've never had an issue with them. When we had Costco's oh, pre-marriage and pre-kids seven, eight years ago, it was always really good quality. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I think this is a long one. I hope you enjoyed this and we will talk soon, guys. Bye.